Welcome to the app 1.54 tutorial videos. Thanks for choosing Firewalla. Firewalla Smart Queue makes it easy to decongest your network and prioritize certain flows. In this release, we've introduced a new Smart Queue mode called Adaptive. In contrast to the existing static mode, Adaptive mode adjusts your flows based on your internet bandwidth and can conserve CPU usage for high speed networks. To enable Adaptive mode, scroll down on your box's main page and tap on Smart Queue. Tap on Mode to choose between Static and Adaptive. If you haven't provided your internet bandwidth, the app will ask for it before activating Adaptive mode. I've already set my bandwidth, so the app won't ask for it again, but I can update it in network performance if I want. Tap Done to confirm your changes, and that's how you can enable Smart Queue Adaptive mode. When using Firewall's VPN server or DDNS feature, your box automatically picks up your primary WAN and IP type to establish the connection. With this release, we now support manually specifying your WAN interface and IP type. To do this, scroll down and tap on the VPN server feature on your box's main page. Tap into whatever VPN server you have set up, then tap on DDNS to change your IP address type and WAN interface. If you tap to change your IP address type, you can choose between IPv4 only, IPv6 only, or dual stack. If you tap to change your WAN interface, you can choose between automatic and specified. If you choose specified, you'll need to select which of your WAN connections to use. I only have one WAN setup, so I can only select that one. Don't forget to save your changes when you're done. And that's how you can specify WAN and IP type for DDNS and your VPN server. A target list is a set of targets defined by domain or IP. You can use them to create rules or prioritize those targets. This new release allows you to mute all alarms generated by the entries in a target list. Tap on Alarms, then tap the Alarm Settings icon in the top right. Tap the alarm you'd like to mute, for example, Abnormal Upload Alarms, then tap on Mute to create a new mute setting. Tap Add Target List to select a target list, for this example, I'll just choose Crypto List. Then select a device you'd like to mute alarms for. I'll just select this device as an example. Once you select a target list and a device, you'll see your new target list mute setting pop up. When Firewalla detects that your box has been disconnected from the internet, the app will show a banner and allow you to run network diagnostics to help you figure out which part of the connection is broken. In this release, we've supported on-demand network diagnostics to allow you to diagnose your connection anytime. To run network diagnostics, tap on the Network Manager on your box's main page. Then tap Run Network Diagnostics at the bottom of your Network Manager. Network diagnostics will automatically run, then return its connectivity test results. You can tap the Share icon in the top right of the screen to send out a document of your test results. Firewall's network flows provide comprehensive insight into your device's activities, but you don't always need to see every traffic flow. In this release, we've provided simple filtering for network flows so that you can sort activity history by a set of common categories. To filter your flows by category, tap on Network Flows or Blocked Flows. Then, select Gaming, Social, Video, Porn, or VPN to filter the flows. I'll just select Social. You can tap the button again to remove the filter and that's how you can filter flows by category. In this release, we've added some new view options to make finding devices with reserved IPs and past devices easier. To see these features in action, tap Devices on your box's main page. We've added a small pin icon to indicate reserved IPs on the devices list. You can see that these two devices have reserved IPs. Also, if you tap the sort icon in the top right corner of the devices list, then tap Show Devices with Reserved IP. You'll see a list of all your devices with reserved IPs. The other feature we've added to the Devices list enables you to easily see your hidden devices. Firewalla automatically hides devices that have been offline for more than seven days. With this release, you can reveal all the hidden devices by tapping the Sort icon and turning on Show Past Devices. Your past devices will then appear at the bottom of your Devices list. From there, you can then update their settings and rules, migrate them to another box, or delete them from your box completely. 
For WAN connections using DHCP, Firewalla now supports renewing DHCP lease info manually. To do this, scroll down on your box's main page and tap Network Manager. Then select one of your WAN connections. Tap DHCP lease info and tap Renew DHCP lease. Your DHCP lease info will be renewed in around 10 seconds.